Hi there guys, this is Cass, welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be exploring uh, an interesting company called Vape Wild. Picked up a load of their juice at Vape Jam back in April. I thought I'd give it a try. Today's setup is going to be a noisy cricket with a Watofu troll. Uh, I've got dual claptons in it, so it chucks vape and it tastes great, hopefully. Let's get straight on to our first juice. Our first juice from Vape Wild is called Butterbeer. Okay, I've got some on the wick. Let's have a vape. All right then. Well, if we look on the website for Vape Wild, they described this as we took a trip on our Nimbus 2015 to meet with the creators of Butterbeer from the Three Broomsticks in Hogsmeade to find this delectable treat from the holiday season. They describe it as butterscotch, vanilla and cream. I'm not tasting any of those. You know what this tastes like? It tastes like sweet corn. Yeah, sweet corn. It's not nice. It's just not good. Another quick toot and I'll uh, refresh my taste buds. It tastes like buttery sweet corn, which as a vape is not nice. And on top of that, it's weak. It, I can't get any of that vanilla or the cream. There's no creaminess in there. Not really. The butterscotch is completely lost. I don't know what they were using. I actually had a look on the website and they have mountains of flavors. Now, I lost count at just under 200 different flavors. That's a lot of flavors. Now, I have to question, how much effort are they putting in to these mixes to get all of these hundreds of different flavors? We're talking candy, desserts, alcoholic drinks, more candy, breakfasts, just so many of these. I want to forget about that butter beer. It's awful. Let's move on to the next one. The next one we've got is called Professor Snipes Slytherin Sauce. Anyone noticing a theme here? Okay, so what do they say about Professor Snipes Slytherin Sauce? Step right up to enjoy Professor Snipes' new snake oil cure called Slytherin Sauce. This flavour was scientifically cultivated by using extracts from the amazing pear fruit, whilst also featuring a coconut cream from the tropics. This e-juice will turn into one of the greatest curios of all time. Let's have a go and see what it tastes like. I hope it's better than the last one. All right, so the flavors that are supposed to be in this are pear, coconut, and cream. That's rank. You ever bought a pack of apples and you left them in your cupboard a little bit too long and they're a little bit squidgy and the skin's not very nice and ugh, they're just a bit off? That's what that tastes like, off apple skin. It doesn't taste like pears. If it did taste like pears, I don't know what pears these guys have been eating. There's no coconut in there whatsoever. There's no cream in there whatsoever. It's weak again on top of that, like the butterbeer flavor. I wanted these to be good. They had some cool names. They're not good. It's thin. It's painful to vape. The inhale is flavorless. The exhale is just nasty off apple flavor. I'm just disappointed. All right, two out of four down and we're not doing very well so far. Let's move on to flavor three. Flavor three is not some kind of twisted Harry Potter flavor. This next flavor is called Cowboy Cooler. So a different label. I found the description amongst the thousands of other flavors for Cowboy Cooler. Let's have a look what it says. Cowboy Cooler is a complex blend of menthol with sweet and sour berries. This tart concoction of fruit and menthol flavor is sure to make you want more. So far, I've wanted nothing. Let's try this, see what happens with it. How do you mess up fruit and menthol? Hopefully it's good. I, I want to like it. It is worth pointing out that I have four flavors out of like 200. So I'm sure there's some good ones out there. This is not completely representative of the whole brand. But it's not making me want to go and order it. And I looked, you can order 480 mils of this stuff. Like you'd have to really like a flavor to buy almost half a liter of it. Or I think it's like 30 ounces or something. All right, let's give this a go. And I'll let you know what I think about it. This is Cowboy Cooler. Mm. 
Okay, that's a little more pleasant. It's not so much berries, it's a little bit more like a watermelon candy kind of deal. There's a little hit of menthol, it's quite a cool flavour. It's just all of these are a little bit weak. There's not enough of it in there. You know, I'm just getting loads of vape and that hint on the exhale of the flavour. It's not an experience for me. And I really want an experience. Got that sort of cool menthol to it, but it's mostly watermelon. I'm not getting a lot of berries in there. Maybe a touch on the exhale, but... I kind of get a candy watermelon out of it. And maybe that's just me. You guys might be absolutely loving this juice and saying, what the fuck is wrong with you? It's great. But I'm just not loving it. It's okay. It's not the worst of it. In fact, it's the best of the bunch I've tried so far. Let's give the last one a go. Hopefully, this one will redeem them a little bit. So, the last flavour we've got is called Murica. See what mad concoction these guys have come up with Murica is a blast of sweet and refreshing layers of red cherries, tart lemon, lime, and blue raspberries. I've never had a blue raspberry. Murica tastes just like that red, white, and blue popsicle from the ice cream truck on a hot summer's day. Popsicle, lemon, lime, raspberry, and cherry are supposedly the primary flavors on this. Let's give this Murica a try. Okay, I'm getting two things out of this. I'm getting this nice hit of what I would describe as to be like a refreshers, sour candy kind of feel from it. Yeah, it's a bit fruity. It's not cold like you'd expect from their popsicle description. A little fruity. It's a little tart on the edge, but it's the aftertaste that kills this for me. You know that smell of a fresh urinal cake? That's what I would imagine it to taste like. Now, I've never tasted one, so I can't say for sure, but the aftertaste on this is bad. The vape is not bad. You know, it's all right. But the aftertaste is just oh, awful. It just feels like there's been no care into these flavours. They've just mixed things together because they've seen what's popular. You can buy them in, like... I'm just gonna have a look at the options. There are eight nicotine options. That's a lot on its own. There are five VGPG mix options from 2080, right up to max VG. There are six different bottle sizes, 10 mil, 30 mil, 60 mil, 120, 240, and 480. That's a mad amount of options. If you combine that with like the, I think almost like 150, 200 flavors possibly, they can't physically take enough care in each juice to steep them, get the mixed flavours right, get it all nice. You can't just chuck concentrates in a bottle, mix it together to the right amounts and send it out as a juice. Some of the best companies out there, Wick Liquor, Zap Juice, Boom Juice, all of these companies, and a lot of those are UK companies, but a lot of these companies don't have vast, vast juice ranges. And they're quite small. I mean, maximum like 15, 20 flavours. And that's built up over a period of time. That's a huge variety of juices. That's just too much to take any care over your juices. What I've tried is four out of 100 odd flavours or whatever. Wasn't impressed. Probably some of the worst I've ever tasted. There's been some bad ones out there, but for a company that's so huge and are obviously shipping mountains of this stuff, I'd expect them to be better. Thank you for watching. That's been possibly the most disappointing set of juices I've ever had. If you like this video and like watching me rant and complain about terrible juice, please subscribe to the channel. Give us a like. Everything helps out. I'm going to go and scrape my tongue. I will see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.